Hi guys, and I'll create folded paper with text on it and first create a rectangle in any color you like and size it. Then copy it. Go to Effect, 3D, Extrude and B-Wall. Click Preview and make the depth zero. Also, the Rotate tool makes the exact effect. But the only difference is Extrude and B-Wall also includes depth. So I don't know if I want to give it a depth, so I will use this one. But you can also use rotate tool too. It's the exact same. And we will go with the isometric part. And first we will choose isometric left. Then click OK. There we have the first one. Again, create a copy effect. 3D, extrude and b-wall. Always remember clicking preview. Isometric bottom. It's not really a bottom, but... Place it. Make sure that they are matching. Create one more copy. Reply the same steps. And okay, there you go. One more copy with the same steps. The only thing that's changing is the perspective. This time we will use isometric top. And the thing is isometric top and isometric bottom are exactly the same. The only thing is the color. When you choose isometric bottom, Illustrator automatically gives it a darker shade to give it a more depth. And if you say top, it will stay true to its original color to seem more realistic. And to make it even more realistic, we will add some little pieces resize it as you wish go to effect 3d extrude b-wall preview make this depth zero and isometric bottom just place it to the end of the page it will look like a little fold Place it. One more and the last one. Resize it again. Also, you can make these in different sizes, but I think when they are even, it looks more realistic. Click preview, make depth zero. Isometric left, okay, and place it. Okay, don't delete it, put it somewhere 
here just in case and place your folded paper on the artboard you are working to have a better view yeah there you go I will also create a background I didn't like that white color and I'll use this one which is a little warmer then lock it I think these look really dark I wonder if I change the color but no 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 I'll take it back I don't like it now we are we reach to the lettering part create something write anything you like with any font you like and I'll use Bodoni I think that's how to spell it I'm not sure I'm sorry if it's wrong but create outlines click right and say ungroup then create smaller groups and rotate them 90 degrees and the first one go to effect 3d extrude and bevel preview Isometric left but first don't forget to making the depth zero yeah that's it we will deal with the place and size later first I'll give them give them all effects again zero depth isometric bottom and okay and one more to go go to effect 3d extrude and bevel depth zero and isometric left and resize and replace them to wherever you like and let's try the white but no <laughs> no it didn't go well i think i'll turn it back to the black it sounded like a lyric okay I think we are done with this and we will add some extra information you can create brochure mockups with that or anything you like first the full name of the font which is 
Tower Bottoni and the creator of it, Gian Battista, Battista Bottoni. I hope it's right. And the year that it's created, which is 1798, and I'll turn them into small caps. Then select them all, create outlines, rotate 90 degrees, go to effect, 3D, extrude and b -ball. say preview, make the depth 0, 0, and isometric top. Yeah, we've got it. Now we need to place them. If you select them, then go to object and say XP expand the appearance it will be easier to replace them From now on, it's basically just replacing, so we are actually done with it. I also want to create a little dot, a black one, and we will give it a little effect. An isometric top. I want this to be in the level of the text, this text. Yeah, and we did it. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope that it's helpful if you like it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.